Hello, today we're going to talk about sampling, the Nyquist sampling theorem, and aliasing. So sampling occurs when we have a physical signal that we want to turn into a signal that we can store on a computer or read with a computer. So that consists of turning a, an analog signal into a discrete signal by means of sampling. For example, we'll draw a sine wave Okay, this represents our physical signal, an analog signal in the physical world. And we want to be able to store this signal on a computer. So how do we do that? We do it by sampling. So first of all, we have to look at the frequency of the signal. And we can see that the frequency of this signal is 1 hertz. We see the signal repeats every second. So the frequency of the signal equals 1 hertz, where hertz represents a rate of cycles per second. Now comes the Nyquist sampling theorem. The Nyquist sampling theorem says the frequency of your sample must be greater than or equal to two times the frequency of your signal. Alright, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to draw a blue dot for every time we're going to take a sample of the signal. Two times per second. Okay. So when we connect the dots or reconstruct the signal that we have achieved through sampling, you'll see our signal looks something like this. That's pretty close to the signal, the original signal. So now we're going to take a look at what happens if we sample at the same rate as the, as the signal itself. That means one time per second. So if we take a sample once per second, That's where we take the samples, and when we reconstruct the signal, it'll look like this. And you can see that does not represent the actual signal. This is called aliasing. Aliasing can be defined by um, the sampling at a lower rate than two times the frequency of the signal, giving us an improper signal. Alright, I hope this sums up sampling, which is turning a real-world analog signal into a discrete signal to be stored or utilized on a computer. Nyquist sampling theorem, which states that the frequency of the sample must be greater than or equal to two times the frequency of the signal where the frequency of the signal is the real-world analog signal, and the frequency of the sample is the amount of samples that are stored in the PC. And this sample can be reconstructed at a later date. And finally, aliasing is when we sample at a rate lower than the Nyquist sampling theorem states, and the signal, once reconstructed, is not representative of the actual signal. 
All right. Thanks for listening.